Hey Aquarius, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for July 25th through the 31st. We're going to see what's coming up here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead or any time thereafter that you may stumble upon the video. We're going to keep this message short and sweet here. I had some unexpected family stuff come up, so I'm going to have to get out of town for a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> I've been busy recording the love readings for August and getting everything up, so we're going to keep the message short and sweet here so I can wrap up the recordings and skedaddle. We're going to see what's coming up here. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What messages do we have for the Aquarius Collective? Move you all just a little bit closer. And the first card coming up here for you all is the King of Cups. All right. So the King of Cups could be water sign energy. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign person. If you have water sign elements, uh, there could be like areas of your life that you're focusing on or focusing on those areas of your life. I know a lot of people are used to watching uh, love and romance readings when it comes to tarot. And so the King of Cups gets typecast as like a husband card or father card, baby daddy card. This could be something that some of you are stepping into or manifesting. If you're new to my channel, I do love readings separate. I've got the link in the description to the love readings. Um, so I try to focus on the cards outside of love and romance in the weekly forecasts. So the characteristics here of the King of Cups is very... Uh, emotionally available very mature very generous energy and sometimes i see the king of cups come up because you're balancing your generosity you may find yourself where you've been very generous or very helpful whether you're generous with your time your advice uh your support your finances in whatever way you've been generous you may find that you've been very generous but you're not getting back the respect that you deserve so sometimes for me the king of cups is like you're putting a limit on that kindness you're putting a limit on that generosity yes it's true that we should give for the sake of giving and it, we don't give to keep score but at the same time we don't want to give to the point where somebody's making a fool out of us or somebody's taking advantage so you may feel like you're making it clear to somebody that they're going to have to adjust their attitude a little bit if they're asking you for something or they're coming to you for help or they want your advice or they want you to help them with something you may be letting this person know this is not the way to come at me this is not the way to ask so there could be something here where some of you are deciding to be a little bit more uh conservative here with your time and your energy and you may be holding back a little bit more until you see improvements or until you see somebody adjusting their attitude or adjusting their approach towards you. For whatever reason, I do feel with this King of Cups, some of you have someone who's coming at you with an apology. Like they're apologizing, but it may also be because they realize that they really need you. They realize how much you are benefiting them. That, and for some of you, it could be even be like an employer or something right maybe you you took the fall for something uh and you left the job because you didn't think it was fair or they let you go and now they're realizing they need you they're trying to get you back um it could be a friend it could be a, 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 a an ex but the thing here is they're they're asking for you back because they realize how much they need you and it's up to you what you want to do there in that situation right some of you might say okay fine i'm coming back and some of you might say, nope, you know, that, that's your lesson. Sorry, you had to learn the hard way. But I do feel that if you are choosing to accept the apology and take the situation back or go back to the situation, I don't feel like this, this person has learned their lesson in terms of how they're behaving. They know that they need you, but I don't feel like they're demonstrating the necessary changes. So this may be something that you have to keep in mind. And you're going to have to remind them, like, look, I left before, I can leave again, right? So if I am coming back, these are the boundaries, these are the expectations. This is how it needs to be different. The next card that's coming up here 
for the Aquarius Collective is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands can be seizing an opportunity. Um, it can also be like getting our passion back, getting our fire back, getting our zeal. Some of you may have already embarked on something new and you're getting a taste of adventure. You're getting a taste of freedom. So it's going to be very difficult for you to go back to a previous situation where you were happy or you weren't feeling fulfilled. Some of you are having to choose between two options, um, and one might seem kind of small or not like that much of a big deal, but I feel that it's one of those things where the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. So even though it might be starting off small or it might be a foot in the door, it's going to grow into much bigger things for you. Um, and it could be a gift from the divine, like an opportunity that's coming in to give you change. So in other words, I feel like there's two doors here. One is the door back to like the safe bet, the thing that you know, you've been there, you've done that. The other one is like a new adventure and you're having to choose between these two. I do feel the new adventure is like an answer to a prayer. You asked for this and it's here, but now it's like, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to go for the new thing or are you going to go back to the same old, same old? Next card that's coming up here for Aquarius is the Page of Pentacles. And Page of Pentacles can deal with a younger Earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, it could be a child. It could be a younger, youthful person. It could be an aspect of yourself. Page of Pentacles comes at me, though, a lot of the times in readings when you're going through uh, healing or strengthening or improving your relationship with money. And you might be looking at your finances and becoming a lot more responsible with your money and a lot more responsible with your spending. So you may be taking steps and you may be doing things that are allowing you uh, to uh, make certain uh, changes in your career or in your path uh, because you're budgeting better. And you don't feel like you're scraping. You don't feel like you're scraping and barely getting by because you're managing your money so wisely. So some of you may be doing some money management to give yourself the opportunity to embark on this adventure or this new journey. As I said, it might feel like a foot in the door, so maybe there's a pay cut involved, but yet you're managing it gracefully. You're looking at it, well, how can I do more with what I have? How can I be more resourceful? And so there's this budgeting that's giving you the opportunity to go down a new path or a new road. The next card coming up here for you all is the Empress. And this is major arcana energy. So even though I'm setting the intention for a seven-day period of time, major arcana energy comes up when we're coming into a new chapter, a defining moment. It's a significant time. And so the Empress is going to be uh, around for a while. This energy is going to be around for a while. This could be Libra or Taurus energy. Um, you know, uh, so if you have Libra or Taurus placements, there could be big changes or big shifts happening for you in those areas of your life. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Libra or Taurus. Empress for me, though, is a card of like respect, but like the respect that you're getting because people genuinely care about you they, like they don't want to fall from your good graces like they feel terrible to think about disappointing you or letting you down you know the empress is not like the red queen where she's running around like off with their heads and everybody's like terrified of her and so they're behaving and they're following all the rules because they're scared of her the empress is not like that the empress isn't running around making threats people aren't obeying her or respecting her out of fear they're respecting her and obeying her out of deep respect and we talked about how some of you are feeling disrespected so i feel like there's this shift here where it's like you're gonna respect me but it's not because i'm gonna be yelling at you or screaming at you or making demands you're going to respect me because you see me. You realize what I'm doing. You realize what I'm creating. You realize what I'm bringing here into this world, into the situation. And you're going to appreciate what I'm doing. And you're going to give me the proper respect. So I feel there may be the ending of a power struggle here, right? It's like you decide whether or not you want me in your life depending on how you're behaving. And if you want me in your life, you're going to have to behave correctly. I'm not going to beg. 
I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to scream. Empress is also for me like a time of enterprise. Like it's one of my self-employment cards or reaching a high level of success and career. Uh, so it's a very powerful card, very uh, productive card, a uh, very fertile card. Traditionally, this could also be entering into motherhood. Um, this could be messages or guidance coming in from a mother or grandmother uh, who has passed on, who's coming in as like a guardian angel or a guide. Okay, but this is very powerful energy. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign if you haven't already. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more. All of the playlists are in the description of the video for the weekly forecast, the love readings. If you want to schedule a private reading with me, link in the description that takes you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead, and hopefully we'll see you all in the daily messages as well. Take care, my darlings.